Hey everyone, next chapter will be the last episode of this Let's Play, and it will of course be live streamed on this channel. That'll be on my usual Saturday stream, so this upcoming Saturday, October 29th at 8pm Central European Time, or 2pm Eastern. If you can make it, please join us there, and if not, there will be a VOD to watch afterwards. Now, let's get into the episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to chapter 28 of Fire Emblem Path of Ignorance. Mecca here, and Raisin's here. Hello. Hello. How's it going today, dude? It's going all right. It's going all right. We've got to play the Twisted Tower. And after this, we do like a run through the Tower of Volney. That's also part of the Let's Play. Yeah, I look forward to shooting my endgame team for the Tower of Volney, personally. Oh, yeah. It's always my favorite personally. part. It's, it's kind of sucks you have to bring all the dragons, though. And so oh. <laughs> it's really annoying. Yeah, I mean, but at least well, you get Leon at the end, level. right? Yeah, you get Leona there. Once you get to that last level, I have to deal with like the eight dragon the goose. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. It's pretty terrifying. Uh, speaking of terrifying, uh, there's something else I'm terrified of, and it's not not getting my characters maxed out. So we could take a look look at how the levels are looking two chapters before the end. So Ike is probably gonna match up max out no matter what, right? He's like 18.85. He's gonna do a lot of work. So I don't think I have to worry about him. Uh, like you said last chapter, he's free. Uh, Boyd, I think a little bit of work and he'll max it out, and it'll be really good if we play Radiant Dawn at some point, because, you know, strength and skill, pretty nice to max out, maybe speed. I actually, I forgot to look at the warrior cap, but is it 26 or lower? I I, I feel like it's much higher than that. I haven't looked at the warrior cap in a while either, but I mean, plus two strength is still always going to be useful, right? Oh so, yeah, for sure. Like, even, even if it's a stat and Radiant Dawn that you're just going to cap, it still ends up usually being useful because of the way that the Radiant Dawn bonus XP works. It'll just mm -hmm. roll down onto the other stats if you need. For sure. Yeah, let's see. Oscar, probably not going to max him out. He's too low. Um, Jill, same thing. It's kind of hard to like, max out Jill sometimes, I find. Shinon, I'm hoping to max him out because I've never done it before. Sorna, I'll can just max, max him out. He yeah. just doesn't cap any stats. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. It's Shinon. Look. Look, he only needs... He's probably going to get skill and speed done, right? And I think maybe so, defense. probably. And then maybe strength if I give him like an energy drop somewhere, I don't know. Um, Titania, probably, probably going to be hard to cap her out, but maybe with Bex we can do it. Uh, Sorna can cap her with stabs. Har probably not going to matter. Um, Largo is going to be hard, but I could do it if I really want to. And then Joffrey is like, kind of whatever. Uh, everyone below yeah. this is kind of whatever. So that's the prospects. Uh, last time, um, I think Raisin and I both realized that after like halfway through recording, uh, I didn't make a forge last time, which I apologize for. I just completely <laughs> forgot. But I w it wouldn't be an FB9 playthrough if you didn't forget to make a forge every now and then. Every now and then. It's I like, hope this is the only one I forgot. Uh, today I'll just make a, like a really strong silver axe for Largo and whoever can use it. A lot of my characters have like B rank axes or B rank lances like Jill and Har and some others. So. It's kind of annoying that they can't use four silvers, which are really the best weapon type at this point. But hey, what can you do? Uh, I hoarded my gold plenty, so to make this really strong silver. Yeah, we might as well. There's like... What, what else are you going to spend gold on at this point? Like physics and elixirs, maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I. It looks like I hoarded way too much gold, but it, it's closer than I thought it was than, than it looks, because I was going to forge a tome at some point, because someone submitted a really good name for it. But I couldn't really find a spot to do it, and I really want the silver right now. Uh, this one we're going to be calling a very simple name. This one is the Pie, and it was made mm -hmm. by uh, Grant Johnson. I don't think I've made the Pie yet, right? It's, I'm not doubling up on one, right? We uh, haven't made the Pie, no. I've not made Pie yet. Okay, new recipe, Pie, um, by Grant Johnson. I'll make this purple pie uh, for Largo. I don't know what flavor this is, but he wants it. So there's the Her pie. Purple's kind of unappetizing, not gonna lie. <laughs> Actually, maybe it's like a blueberry pie. Yeah, knows. I was gonna say, those are good, I think. That's I, true. I'm trying to remember, I eat blueberries for breakfast, but I don't even for pie, so I've never tried that part. Uh, it, it's, I mean, obviously it's very sweet, mm -hmm. but... That's the sweet you part. You kind of have to like... You, you kind of have to like process them until they're a bit like, uh, like gelatinous, mm -hmm. you know? Like, until they're like a firm jelly, and then you can make a blueberry pie. <laughs> If it just kind of like falls out of the pie, then it like, you know, falls it kind of stinks. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, it falls off big time. Oh, also, we need to manage Ike's skills, because right now he has Aether, which is not the best. I don't think we need to as badly, because, I mean, Aether's still perfectly fine for the final bits, but I don't know anyone who can really make use of Wrath, so I think we delete it and go with um, Wrath Resolve. Um, yeah, we, we might as well. It's just better. Yeah. All right. Wrath Resolve, here you go, baby. Oh, I didn't need to take mm -hmm. off Provoke, it's fine, though. Wrath. I don't even know how often I'm going to be using it, because it's... Not parody, anything but that. <laughs> yeah, don't do, do parody. I mean, because it's deleted after if I accidentally did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, no, um, I'll make a save here, in case I ever want to do different transfers or something, I don't know. And then we're here. Uh, I didn't really do formations yet, but it doesn't really matter that much. I think I get... Yeah, it's just yeah, this map. Different. Yeah, it's everyone advance, kill the goose. That's that's the concept of the map. Just go through it, murder everything. I think you said everything has one, two, or one range. I see some sages, but not a whole lot. So I think your idea holds true. After yeah, com well, staff, hmm. compared to like some of the other maps, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Relatively I remember this speaking. being a map where I definitely forged a uh, forged silver as opposed to a uh, forged one two range. I can imagine. Players. I can perfectly imagine. Uh, also, we have a new unit. Let me make sure I have our stat screen ready when I when it comes up. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see, because let's see, not Alincia. I believe her name is Enna. And let me find her on the screen. She is right here. Um, this is Enna, the way that you get her. And obviously, these are untransformed stats, and it's gonna be hard to get her transformed in this map because I don't really plan to train her. I did that in my Iron Man playthrough for a little bit until, unfortunately, she met her end in the final chapter because of my arrogance. Um, so this is Anna, the way you would probably see her uh, a lot of the time. I think what I'm gonna go with is this Anna with a demi band equipped, and that will transform her. Oh, it should there you go. And this is probably the Anna that you're gonna see if you're like not using any other Lagoos and you just wanna try her out for a little bit. Which are honestly these stats when I looked at them the first time I was like, okay, that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, her breath weapon is still, you know, Lagoos. It's one range in this game, unlike in Radiant Dawn. So still locked to one range, not forgeable or anything like that. So it's still gonna be less powerful than most of your units, but when I looked at these stats the first time, actually trying to see like, hey, how good is Anna? I wasn't actually super not impressed. <laughs> I was actually kind of impressed, because yeah. Um, the, the strength and defense and HP in particular are really good. The res is really high, uh, it's just her speed is really bad, so she can't double anything. Uh, but she does have enough bulk to survive, enough like damage to chip uh, or like tank at any phase. I think the plan for that playthrough in particular was to give Anna the skills I just gave to Ike, Wrath Resolve, and just have her go to town, maybe kill Ashnard. And it almost worked out, but unfortunately she got hit by a bit too many things, so... She was in the right, you know, right HP range for Wrath Resolve, but also the right range to die. So you gotta be a little bit careful still. Um, she's supposed to be a fill safe for if your Ike is not good enough to beat Ashnard, um, which, in which case you get Anna. Uh, if you do beat the Black Knight, you get Nazir instead, who I don't have a stat screen for, unfortunately. Uh, but they're basically the same unit, so it doesn't really matter that much. Um, dragons are cool, but not very good in this game. Don't really have a whole lot of utility. I never really use them much, but they're fun novelty units, I think. But that's about all I could say about them, really. What about you? Yeah, I mean, they're a very fun heap of stats, I will say. I guess it's kind of the same story we have with horror where we looked at these sets it's like yeah they don't really look that good um and then we you know used horror and he ended up being pretty good i feel like this is kind of the same thing where you look at these sets and like oh these sets actually look pretty good so i have a feeling that she's going to end up being pretty good demi band is a great choice uh just go ahead and like use it i mean at this point maybe you're gonna still be using it on morim or something but uh, honestly just put the demi band on her forget about it it ends up being just totally fine uh, i do want to take a look at her skills uh, so her skills, she has like kind of a nice suite. It's not like Radiant Dawn where she has uh, Red Pool or the thing that gives you plus strength and plus skill. She doesn't have anything that amazing. Yeah. Uh, but she has these. To be honest with you, I oftentimes end up just kind of like removing these skills because a lot of times they're annoying to like see the renewal animation or <laughs> like, you know, I'm not going to watch the, or I'm not going to count on Miracle to proc, right? Uh, although I think it's only five capacities, so like Maybe it's not really that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, but honestly, if you want to seriously use her, I'd say like you get get rid of some of these skills. They're not really that good. Boon is like it's what a restore staff. If she's next to someone. Yeah, it's in, it's like I think it's just the same as in Radiant Dawn, where you put it next to someone. If they get put to sleep, she just wakes them right up. Which is yeah, cool in this like, chapter actually. It's kind of cool, but like just buy a restore staff. You know? Yeah, <laughs> 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 you have, you have money. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's not very so. practical. It'd be like if it was like FE6 where you have like 5,000 enemy status staffs like raining down on you, then parking her next to a staff user would be really nice, right? Because you could just cure the status staffed, status staff user, oh, yeah. and then they can restore someone. Yeah, that, that ends up being pretty cool in Radiant Dawn. Like, that's a nice thing. To, there's also several turns in Radiant Dawn where like everyone gets hit by a status. So, like, might as well. Mm -hmm. Like, might as well have her nearby. Overall, she's like an okay unit, I'd say. Like, yeah. Just between her stats, between her uh, skills and whatnot, she, like, she, she's okay. 
Yeah, she's not very memorable, is she? Because she's like not around for a whole lot, and she's not very good when she is around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, her animation takes a long time. So, you know. <laughs> it's a lot of screen time, technically. I know. That's when she's good. All right, let's get this show on the road. I'm going to put Sora next to Ike, because uh, that's where he wants to be. And then we'll just uh, play it by ear, see how it goes, and watch people die. Uh, hopefully we get a bit of uh, damage in with Ike every now and then, because I didn't give him these skills for nothing, you know what I mean? Uh, first things first. Commander Tibarnt. Yeah, I'm going to send yeah. Tibarnt to Halt, because he wastes so much time flying around and like, aggroing enemies that I don't want to aggro. Uh, he's like right here. things and yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> he's like hella strong, but he's an NPC, so can't really make use of him very well. Uh, yeah, let's just. I have two Lagoos Guard Axe users right here along with Ike, so let's just send them to the front line, I think. Uh, Ike, by the way, I want to cheat a little bit and show his stats one more time. I think at this point, it's not really an exaggeration to say that Ike is like one of the best units ever right now with the uh, Ragnell having one to range, infinite uses. Uh, 18 might, which is ridiculous. It didn't really show very well how good it was against the Black Knight, but against generic enemies, this thing just melts everything. And with cap strength, cap speed, and 28 defense, he's basically invincible right now. Especially because like if he gets low HP, he gets Wrath Resolve, and the enemies just melt even faster. It's so funny. Yeah, it's it's honestly hard to like think of a Lord who goes through a larger transformation. Like, and I know people are going to be like, what about Roy? Honestly, even Roy, I don't think goes through like because his one-two range weapon still has only 20 uses, right? Like. You still kind of have to limit yourself a bit. But this one is like, just equip the Ragnar and no other weapon. It's true. I think Ike and Roy, and I'm not the first one to make this observation. Uh, I ripped it up from Rangor. Um, Ike and Roy are remarkably similar in a lot of ways. Because they both mm -hmm. get their one to range super strong sword uh, near the end of the game. And they're both kind of mediocre up until that point. Although I think it's fair to say that Ike is like significantly better for a portion. Uh, but they do both feel underwhelming at times compared to their peers. Put people in spots where they can attack. This is one of the best maps to have Raisin. Oh, not Raisin. I mean, it's one of the best maps for Raisins too, but it's also one of the best maps for uh, Raisin because you have so many units that can take advantage of his still skills and so oh, yeah. many different and things you can do when you have him around. And you have this like rollout zone here. Yeah. So. That, that is honestly like one of the more painful losses we've had so far in this run Definitely. is Raisin. Rip Tanith, though. True. That was also a big rip. Oh, yeah, true. That was such a shocker, I just didn't see it. It's like, what? Also, animations are still on, so uh, I hope you like them for turn one. I'll turn there it off we'll for turn one. Whoa, here he goes. Hello. That's Joffrey. Got to see him I guess in his blind green armor. <laughs> Have we not seen his animations yet? <laughs> Thank you, Jeffrey. I think. I think the first time Joffrey joined, he was like way too behind to do a whole lot of anything, so it's possible that his animations have not been on the screen yet. Possible. Oh, that's true, because we did have animations for the first part of the boulder map. Yes. Before we were like, yeah, forget about this. Yeah, actually, no. Actually, you know what? I don't need the, the, the watch time. I'm turn them off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're past 10 minutes. Mm hmm. Okay, so this is with half the damage from the Lagoose Guard. So normally he would take 14, which is still like decently bulky for what I think of Largo. Oh, nice sick level up. Hello? Oh, oh this is. um. Blizzard or something? Oh, Meteor. All right. I'm, yeah, I'm, meteor. Yeah. I'm not good at guessing the magic, apparently. <laughs> yeah, we haven't really been keeping track of like Largo's stats, which I guess is like kind of the point of the playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, that's something. Ooh. That's, that's add up to cancel? Yeah, add up, yeah, add up, yeah, that's a lot of procs. <laughs> it, it procs something, all right? <laughs> Even the skills are in ignorance mode. You can't tell what you're procking. It's like, what are we doing? <laughs> I was like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just pressing buttons. Uh -oh. it's, like, it's like me playing a platformer. Oh no! It's like when you're new playing a fighting game against like yeah. someone who kind of knows what they're doing, <laughs> and just like start complaining. Like, no, you're playing it all wrong. It's only fun if you don't if you don't know what you're doing. No. You just like find that one really obnoxious move to spam at them. Yeah. Okay, turn this off before I forget. Uh, there we go. It is all good. For a moment, I thought my, my speed was on slow for some reason. There's, uh, there's one person in my in my Patreon Discord who always forgets to push the, put the battle speed on fast or something like that. Oh, so everything moves like, move. moves like a slug. Oh, hold up. You have it. Oh, you gotta use it. it. You got it. You got it. You gotta use it. <laughs> I, I have expected it to not like kill the hawk right there. <laughs> Oh, come on. It's like, what, 7 might with the strength bonus as well? Okay, let's... Right, let's show her off. Yeah, I did turn just turn animation to back. Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh, let's, let's show her off indeed. Um... 
I don't think she's gonna get one rounded. Although if she does, I'm not even that mad. But this, these tigers are insane. Do not want to die. Yeah, they got like honestly all the lagoons at this point of the game just have insane stat, like insane stat inflation. Well, she did that. That's why. That's why people don't remember Anna existing. That yeah, there performance go. right there. Right, yeah. Uh, well, you I mean you have a like goose bow? You might as well try it. It's definitely very effective. Yeah, if you want a unit that does that, I mean, <laughs> nice. Ina's your girl, so. I think I might have forgotten to bring a physic because I I had the one use physic and then I replaced it, but I don't think I put the new physic on Reese or Soren, so we might be having to rely on the Ashira staff for health check, <laughs> for ranged health checks. Yeah. But the, the Asher staff is even worse for health check because it always highlights even if no one's injured. So If no one is injured? So you can use it if no one is injured? Yeah, I think because we had that last turn, right? Where I, I very briefly noticed that the Asher staff was like highlighted last turn. Like on turn one? Yeah, you might be right. Like turn one player phase. Mm. Yeah, turn one player phase. I was like, but wait a minute. I, I have like, the same feeling. I think you might be right. Okay, Largo, you can do you can do it to kill a cat, right? Yeah, there you go. Bonk. Bonk. That cat for sure. <laughs> Maybe not all cats, but definitely that cat. That yeah, that one easy. Alright, can you double a hawk? These guys suck, I think. They're really bad. Yeah, they're really bad. Get shredded. Get get wrecked. Get wrecked them out. Well, Alright, all right, what'd you get? He keeps getting magic. Come on, bro. He doesn't even have the magic band anymore. He's just getting magic anyway. He just doesn't care. He's getting magic. Honestly, the Sonic Sword was a tragic loss. It really is. How could we have lost it? I mean, like, is is it really, like, we kind of got Ragnail now, but it was funny while it lasted. It would have been really funny if his performance with the Ragnail was similar to his performance with the with the other thing, the, 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 oh, Sonic, the Sword. Sonic Sword. Yeah, it, yeah good. it makes no sense whatsoever. The dumb thing is, I don't think you can take advantage of it in Rainy Dawn anymore. I don't think there's any magic-based swords, right? It's just the, the, the Wind Sword, Wind Edge, but they're all, like, physical there. Yeah, it's, like, it's the Imbue skill that he can take advantage of, and then... If you remember this, like the cards, you know, like the demon card and the reaper card. Oh yeah, <laughs> so you can hit the black knight for more damage with <laughs> with the reaper card. I know how handy. Makes it easier for Boyd to follow Oops. up with the hammer, right? So yeah. Okay, I think I really don't have a physics staff. Oh, I do. I did. No. Okay, okay, we got it. So we do have the option to keep, for example, Joffrey. Let's watch out for this little thing right here. Um, hmm. Trade him over to a uh, or. Not. Eh. Sure, nah. could have, I guess. I'm just gonna fall with Boyd. Perhaps. Maybe like ensuring that he goes for Jeffrey is actually more useful. Potentially, it will give us another double bow target at least. That's right. Oh, to we can max so move shit on and still double bow. <laughs> okay, keep forgetting this guy exists, and we really need to make sure that he doesn't exist anymore next turn, because he's annoying. He's gonna like catch Wait. someone off guard. Can Shinon hit him through the wall with the double bow? Oh, that's that'd be so funny if we could. That's how we're gonna take He's him so out. He's so far back though. We have to nah, like. we got shoves. We got rescues. We don't have that many shoves. Oh, okay, nice. we got rescues then. <laughs> that's true. But rescue's not gonna get him this turn, you know. Ah, true. Yeah, Boyd doubles at least, so we can clear the way with Boyd and Ike at least. We don't have to to kill every single enemy. I did that in my Iron Man because all my units were like trash tier. Sick. Oh no. And it was fun because I could just like talk to chat <laughs> while I was doing it. <laughs> but for this kind of playthrough, I'm like, you know what? I'd rather just one round like, things. We need, we need to just GTFO, right? Like, yes. get out of here. We've seen this so, animation before. Oh, hello. We'll Maybe do what we, we did in chapter two. Uh -huh. Have Boyd and Ike do it. Zabar cannot have animations, right? NPCs never have animations. Yeah, they never do. Mm. It does move right after us, right? Yes, it's player, other, and then enemy. So we could like feed one enemy to Tabarn for fun. Just for fun. Uh -huh. as, as long as we remember to turn him off Pavis. afterwards. Oh yeah, no. Do you remember Pavis Boyd blocks like oh, go ahead. all damage in this game, right? Come again? Does it block all damage, Pavis? Or or Pavis or Pavis? Or, um, or Vigilance or whatever it's called in this remember. game. Oh Sala. wait, he actually has the icon? The rescue icon, yeah. Yeah, that's funny. I never noticed that. Today I learned. There you go. Right, they're just vibing there. It's fine. I to I totally interrupted you though. What were you gonna ask? Um, I don't remember the Puffy's thing. Oh yeah. Like, Direct. Kill him. Get him. 
So if he doesn't kill him, then Reese is in a lot of trouble. Okay, so <laughs> Tabla Shinon is about one, two, three, four, five shelves away. And uh, currently, I would say there's like one unit here that can shove him, maybe. So let's just move and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we can reach with double bow. Let's get it. Even has provoke, so that should work in his, to his favor as well. Uh, see, we have some uh, from here to be dragons, so let's watch out for those. But they only have one range, just like Anna, so it shouldn't be too big Sorry. of a deal. Can Ike do it? He probably can, right? I have faith in Ike. He I think they'll go for Boyd if given the choice. But He might get in Wrath Resolve range, honestly. Yeah, I don't think one dragon's going to do it, because like, remember Ike's defense is at 28. It's so insane. Oh, it's true, yeah. So it's kind of big. As one dragon is like not going to be as much as it takes. Um, I think he's injured a little bit. Yeah, let me just heal him a little bit. Okay, Tabar and Beta won't run this Raven. I'm going to just very Reese away from this uh, this mm -hmm. spot. I don't trust him. Even Raven. Jeffrey, like, while he's retreating, can get like a bow attack in. Uh, I guess to weaken him for Tabar, and sure. Why not? I guess so. Uh, get some bow rank. Worth. We can't Watch get closer to that double bow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright. Get him. For a moment there, I'm like, why aren't you using the Laguz bow? It's effective. Don't you know, Mecca? Like, oh, alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't there instances where, like, I think uh, the, the beast killing weapons are usually not effective against, like, flying Laguz? I think it's Rainy Dawn thing. Because um, in this game, I think a Laguz bow is still effective against, like, flyers. Yeah, I think Lagoo's effective is effective against like all Lagoos. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah. Dragon, bird, yeah. beast, but Yeah, like even the Lagoos axe is good against Haxi Hawkser, but it isn't in Rainy Dawn, I think. There's just like good against Beast, I think. Because you don't have a Lagoos axe there, it's like a beast slayer or something like that. Yeah, no. E each weapon type only has mm -hmm. like one effective mm -hmm. weapon. No, Shinon! This, this guy's attracting Shinon's wrath. Bad idea. Alright. twenty damage, Max. Calculated. Pretty Actually close. Calculated. Oh, well, he's, apparently you know? he's in wrath range. He did crit, so he must have been in wrath range. <laughs> exactly. You equipped the Vogkari, that's what you did. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't even notice. Although. <laughs> oh, come at me. Come at me, bro. Oh, crap. Eight missing damage, maybe you would? <laughs> I'll go in the same direction, yeah. One direction. It's like. The difference between Ragnell and Vogkari is like. Almost as much as the two min maxes that we had. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, Ragnarok 18, that the fake guy was like, what, 12? It's it's like, I think it was 10. It Maybe it was 12, insane. who knows? Insane. Yeah, uh, it's like, what? Uh, you pull up what? Oh, we didn't get bolting for effective damage against dragons. I mean, who says I'm gonna kill it? I'm oh, just kidding. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah, we're just gonna leave him alive. Oh, Max Magic. Let attack Soren. Ooh, transfer Soren. Mm -hmm. More likely than you think. I know. that That's the set he really needs, is magic. <laughs> and Radiant Dawn. I just want to shove Soren in range of Ike so I can uh, do funny things. Should I go do close range so I can get... Nah, I think this is safer. Just do max range. I think with the with Resolve activated, you can 2 kill dragons, because Resolve activates um, as, like, strength. Unlike in Radiant Dawn. Yeah, that's 50% strength. So would that be, like, an extra 13 attack? Sounds about right. Oscar. Oh, he's so close to reaching Ike. So close. Need like one massive shove. I wonder if Anna can shove Oscar. He's so big. I don't well, think so. Maybe Boyd can do not it. Not anymore. No. Nah, Boyd is statue fracked. He should have been able to do it. Cringe. Oh, he's also like small to begin with, so. That's true. Actually, I wonder. <laughs> oh. no. Okay, Titania. <laughs> there it was, and that's it. Fair enough. D did we, what, corrode her? Corrode his weapons or cancel him? Uh, I don't think he knows. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> the heck? Yeah, no. Dude, yeah, these guys are beefy. I was like, <laughs> they're beefy as heck. I was being greedy. Pull the forge. We need him. Honestly, smite Ina. Is it good? Nowhere near as good as like smite cat, right? There's no way. All right. I'm, I got to see the animation one more time. It's gonna shoot this guy from the this forest, is... like right in front of him. It's gonna teleport right in this... front of him. Oh yeah, this is the niche. At the double bow. Watch cards. Peter counter now because he's hitting for some. Oh, never mind. We'll never know. We'll never know. See ya, bro. Did I tell you about the thing someone in my Discord found out the other day that you can counter in with in three houses with long range magic if you have close counter equipped? Wait, seriously? Yeah. Like in, in melee range, I assume, right? Yeah. <laughs> because There's it doesn't no have way. long range. It's so stupid. All right. 
Uh, this is your strongest weapon. Let's go. Dump that lance. Got him. Donk. Thanks, Chong. Well done. And then Ike just evaporates. Yeah, Ike just vanishes just... because Jill kills the dragon. Exactly. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, the dragon would have put him in resolve range, don't you know? Oh, true, true, true. Uh, let's leave Riss around here somewhere. I'll just have and I'll move on down. Oh, I didn't. Did yeah, I hold to barn? I don't think I did. Oh, it's fine. We didn't though. do that yet. Ah, next turn. No to, can... Please remind me next turn. I don't want to see him we'll flying through like enemies. Yeah. I mean, there's no one he can attack, right? So he's no. Just right gonna... now, it's not a big deal. But if you keep forgetting it, you know, because it keeps being not a big deal, then it kind of becomes he, like, a big deal. He steals the Rex Bolt to him. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Alright, that's sleep, I think. Oh, that's actually kind of bad. Yeah. Yeah, but never it's mind. Okay, We're good. Uh, dodgy. He's magical. Remember. Yeah, oh yeah, he's, he's too magical. Yeah, he's, to get he's a magical girl. I... Delete enemy.exe. Alright, this might put him in. Never mind. Nope. Suffering from success. Elwind is not enough, apparently. Oh, that was Elwind. I thought at this point they'd all carry, so. like, Thoron Tornado. Like, last chapter, every time a sage hit me, it was like, oh, Tornado. Oh, Bex or um, Thoron or Bolganon or Meteor. They don't carry these old-fashioned wind tomes anymore. Yeah, like I think it just goes like wind, L wind, tornado. There's nothing like in between, right? Wind, L wind, tornado. And that was tornado, right? Yeah. It's, uh, yeah. They kind of skip a couple ranks here and there. There's no arc wind. No. And then Raiding Dawn is like, all right, we gotta fix that. Let's make five thousand different tomes. Yeah. No. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Okay. All right. Stop, T barn. <laughs> yes. Thank Here you. come Lagoos. Lagoos. Do you heal Ike before? That is a good question. Killing uh, boy. Hmm. We gotta kill this boy. I think there's another sleep staff somewhere, like for this guy. I mean, I mean, for like survivability, healing them has to be correct, right? Like the only technically the... yes, survivability. You're right. Yeah. Uh, I guess we'll heal with uh, Soren then, and then they'll probably attack Soren just to spike me. That's right. I mean, you kind of deserve it, putting him right there, so... <laughs> I'm victim-blaming you. <laughs> Good. Uh, it's just not gonna kill, there's no way. No, there's no way. Get out of here. Crap. Uh, oh. psych! <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. Psych. Everything kills in this game. Oh, crit, trust. Okay, if I'm gonna be put to sleep... I mean, he has the Ashera Staff on Umbrius, so it's literally not a big deal if he gets put to sleep. Um, and I think you still proc... Wait, it's it's like a flat avoid penalty if you're asleep, right? Uh, I think it's you I no longer so. get speed to avoid. It's just a flat penalty, I think. I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. Uh, I think if anyone wants to kill, it's Jill. So I guess we'll try and get the kill with her here. Because Jill, Jill, Jill is like really good if you get transfers. So I don't know. Like I already have a good transfers file. I don't know why I'm doing all this. Yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. It has R. to be the same. Don't be like that. This is like you know you can optimize. So optimize. I know. The decisions that hurt, that are the, the hardest decisions are the ones that don't matter. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like we're already winning the game, but we gotta like <laughs> we, squeeze some extra value out of what we're doing. We can win <laughs> the next game if we do this the right way. I know. Okay, Tabarn is halted. Shinon coming in here. Your help is required. It's not required, but it, it's awfully funny if you help. It'd be kind of cool. Uh, there's some burbs here. Have Shinon tank the burbs. Well, Shinon tanking involves inefficiency. You can't have that. Oh, true. All right, Imagine what halted. your YouTube audience would think. Yeah. If they saw an mm -hmm. archer get attacked. Arr! Not another flyer, no. No. It's okay, we got Soren. We sure do. <laughs> Wait, that's not just a regular attack, right? No, it was just a bird. Something procced. Oh, well. <laughs> I was I was not planning to respond like that, or I was planning to respond like that, and it wasn't that. It wasn't as funny as it sounded, but because it worked out like that, love it. Okay, nice job, Soren. You didn't get a nice hit job. at all. Well done. Ice job. Wait, ice the enemy. Oh, yo, this is some good use of the brave axe. We're trying to get the extra, extra rank transfer. Goodbye, brave axe. Let's let's put some dragons to sleep. The dead eye. Wait. Can Har even like benefit from an axe rank transfer? Um, I mean, he starts with 
A or S, right? And I think you can go to S in tier two. So it probably so. technically benefits. I've had like one run where I was trying to go fast and go burr. And mm -hmm. uh, I, he was meant to use like the Tomahawk in 2e against Lutvik. And he didn't have the rank for it because I used the Javelin a couple times instead of the Axe. Wait, how? Do you get, you get the Tomahawk from Lutvik? Um, then I, whatever, you need you needed to use a certain Axe that you couldn't use. I, I mean, I, I believe it. I believe it. I'm trying to think what Axe it could have been. Maybe, because like, obviously you'd use the Hammer normally, right? Maybe just short Axe? Yeah. Is that S rank maybe? Nah, it's like A rank. Because Tomahawk is S rank. There has to be an axe you have access to in 2E that you cannot use if you don't use access full time with Har without transfers. Mm. And I think I saw it happen. Unless there was something very strange going on, which I don't, nope. you know, I don't want to exclude from possibilities, but that would be very strange. Hello, yeah, and, uh, some kind of like ROM hack weapon. I don't think it would have been like a silver pole axe. I know for a fact back then I did not know how to do a Radiant Dawn ROM hack or anything like it. Uh, if I bump Ike a couple times, he can get in here. Do you remember if any... This guy's got to have a status staff, right? Uh, yeah, I think he's got to sleep. And these guys don't, right? So... Yeah, no, they don't. The up. boss does have a siege tome, but, you know, make of that what you will. Yeah. I think, like, shove with the foot units here. And then we kill the bishop. And we just stand next to this dragon or whatever. Have I go burn a little bit more. He doesn't need to anymore, he's still already capped like, stats, but it's whatever. How many squares do we need on Ike? Two. Like, how many squares so, are moving? So it's just two shots is enough, like this. Okay. I'm gonna get this guy out of my way. We need to cover Shinon a bit, obviously. But that's easier done than said. Um, let's go here. The let easier this. done than said. Yeah, because doing it is so easy. That's true. It's so I was about to say, you, you said it pretty easy, so... Mm -hmm. uh, you're an enemy sniper, you're not Shinon. I just moved Oh, Shinon. wait a sec. Yeah. Uh, also, there's a dragon here. Um, I got just a thing, though. Now we have the effective magic, yes. yes. Use it. Okay, that okay, actually okay. worked out. He still needed. He still did one round without a death or anything like that, though. Like, we chipped this guy before with Har and his four Brave Axe uses. Yeah, they're very useful for four brave axes. Uh -huh. Did What's he that? like proc adepts there too or not? Uh, I don't know. I just know that I, I was trying know. to feed this to Jill and instead Joffrey's like, no, it's my kill, bro. I want it. It's mine. I mean, okay, he gets pal He gets a uh, paragon, you know. I don't know how hard Je like transfers Jeffrey is, but I feel like it's also pretty good. It's uh because his stats are pretty impactful in those few maps. Yeah. It's it's pretty nice to get transfers on him, I admit. I'll uh, I'll make a vague shot for it. I might actually do it last time I played, I think. And he gets like strength, movie speed. Both of those are really helpful. We need the transfers usefulness to your list. Oh yeah. We need to know. I think for my Radiant Dawn tier list review, I did take into account transfers. Uh, oh really? A little bit. It's quite interesting because like. Actually, I think we ended up not doing so, and the steering on that because like it's like completely different units transfers. Yeah, like well, we, some some units are right. Yeah, like like Jill and Nephany in particular. Oh, good luck, enemies. Just keep doing that. Don't worry, you'll be fine. There will be no consequences for trying to proc my uh, my things. Yeah, just keep doing non damage. Yeah. Hey, we have no XP bar now. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Save the frames. See, this is why Shinon is not a good unit because he still has XP bar at this point in the game. That's right. Ah, oh, Sora just keeps on going. What a champ. He just keeps on advantage, like, critting people? Okay. <laughs> I think Sword hasn't missed crit. a single one round this chapter. Yeah, no. He hasn't missed a single one round. Even, like, the vantage one rounds. Alright. Nope. Here comes Bolting. More like head lose, Lamau. Is anyone uh, close to S rank Thunder? Or should we try to uh, get the Rex Bolt animation from the boss this time? <laughs> Wait, does this boss have Rex Bolt? He does, right? Yeah. Yeah, this one has the Rex Bolt. Oh. Well, I don't think... This game, any Sage can get S-Rank, right? And use the Rex Bolt, I think? Any Sage can, yeah. I mean, it takes some effort. I don't know if yeah. Soren's there is the issue. Soren has just hit C, like, recently. Okay, yeah, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can try to show off the animation against someone. Oh, hello, Tigers. Um, maybe not this turn. Maybe Falm with Ike this time. Stupid Tigers. Probably. We could probably push through all the way. Uh, it's just these you tigers probably could, are so, to be honest. so strong, though. 
Oh, Shion's not a range for a two range attack. That might make it harder. Uh, Sorn. The shove. I don't want to shove because like, I want the units to attack, not shove. Let's see. Yeah, and like, you're going to need so many units at that fight there that you might as well just move your whole team further up, you know? Yeah. Like, shoving one unit forward, I don't think it's going to contribute much. I agree. Uh, I think I can, like, weaken them for someone else. Let's see how much he does. Mm -hmm. oh, or he, uh, <laughs> he definitely right, weakened them a little bit. Oh, this guy fall off over. I know what happened there. He's been weakened a lot. Oh, in that case, might as well leave one alive, I guess. Get him, Boyd. <laughs> Get him, or <laughs> Him, too. Okay. <laughs> A2 Tiger. Okay, alright. Um, well, let's see the bolting action then, because uh, these enemies are not going to survive here. Let's make sure they don't. Um, Shinon. No, this pack of enemies? Get out of here. Yeah, no, they're, they're gone. They're dead. They're toast. Goodbye. See you. I think the bottom one is full health. Let's do something about that. Yeah, he attacks Shinon, so. People who attack oh. Shinon often end up dead. It just takes a while. Yeah, the next turn. No. Yeah. I'm just trying to get transfers on Jill, but every enemy I get such as the just dies. <laughs> it's like no <laughs> suffering. Life is suffering. Alright. All Holding right. ship into Jill? I don't know. That is the plan. But we know Sora in this chapter, he doesn't take prisoners, so. It's like a decent start. Yeah, I don't think Jill can kill from here though. Maybe I don't with think so, Leguzbo? even with like a Jeffrey Leguzbo chip. Yeah. Watch him crit. Okay. But if this is the goose boat, then I kind of fear what Jill's gonna do, which is gonna be absolutely yeah. nothing. Not even with like Forge Steel or something? or. Uh, yeah, but I mean, we saw the Brave Axe with Har last time. Let's move Har in for uh, support points, I guess. He's yeah, already like have trade. A support, so. Yeah, yeah, oh, true. Oh, they have A support? Yeah, they have A. That doesn't give him any plus might, though, right? Because it's Thunder and Wind. Um, I mean, you don't get crit from like supports here, right? No. I mean, from bond support, but you have to be yeah. Jason for that. Ah, maybe she'll crit. Maybe. Maybe or she'll not. die. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, hold up. It's time uh, for a health check. Physic? Ashra? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a physic moment. No more hawks, right? Not as far as I can see. Alright, Riz, supply some first aid. Or it'll be the last aid. Help out, Jill, please. And the tiger's also pretty strong. A little... I mean, if a tiger, Actually, if, a, if a dragon does twenty, there's no way a tiger does more. Like, I don't know if the AI can identify. Like, if they all attack Jill, they probably kill her. Yeah, if the, if the, if the, if the boss also hits her with a uh, blizzard. Yeah, I don't know if they'll identify that, but we'll see. Yeah, they should go for that. Oh, there we go. Yes. Yes. Oh, it's bolting right. Oh, geez, that that still does a lot. The heck, that, that wasn't the crit, was it? He's just that strong. No, I think it's just that good. Yeah. Apparently so. Okay, well, with my whole team here now, there is no way we can get the Rexbolt animation, I think. Okay, at least Joe can no, get this yeah. dragon kill. Everyone's gonna be in range. Yeah. It is what it is. Unless you corrosion the bolting. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bastion, get off the bench. I got a job for Yo. you. Who, I mean, who has it, Har? Or... Uh, Har has it by default, doesn't he? I don't think. He's did I put it on someone? I might have. Yeah, Har Har's got cancel, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, goose axe seems pretty good here. Donk. I see a goose. <laughs> I use the goose axe. Tanya has a goose axe. Neurons as well. activate. I mean, there's like a lot of lagoos in the next few chapters. This weapon's kind of good, yeah. Yeah. It's uh, really good. So is the lagoose guard. It's been. It increases. Like, I think at this point, the speedrun. Not this one, like earlier. Switches from having the full guard to having the lagoose guard because, you know, lagoose are just that powerful. Yeah, they're that powerful. They're like really accurate too. Let's see how much he does. Oh shit. Sleepy sleepy tiger. Sleep cat. <laughs> <laughs> JK. Good night. Alright, uh, that just leaves the boss, I guess. Say good night. Um, yeah, because the Tina's already here. This is a support range, but this is up close. I like I like the up close idea. Oh don't actually do Can't tell boys first or eh, boys can do it. Or were we trying to maximize oh, yeah, no, our XP got, game? <laughs> he's got 40 XP, yeah, forget about him. <laughs> Good night. Easy, get out of here. Easy. Alright, nice chill map. Nice enemy density. 
Easy map, you know. Good luck. Yay, Get Rex through. Bolt. Get the Rex Bolt. This thing is insane. It's too bad no one can use it. Yeah, no. Alright, get some uh, mending in, I guess. I think with Bex, some we have like a decent shot at capping us people out. I think so, yeah. We don't, we don't have any arm scrolls, right? Uh, I might have I like one two. lying around. You get like two over the course of the whole game. Yeah, I got. I used one on Soren, and I think I either hoarded or missed the other one. Not sure which is the case here. We'll find out when we get there. Yeah, we definitely will. Uh, Alright, Tabarn, we did this. Thanks for all your help, bro. <laughs> Thanks for. I mean, he did kill the hawk. Yeah, he did exactly what I wanted him. Exactly as much combat as I wanted. It's pretty handy. Give him credit for it. For sure. Oh, nice, Renolf. Hey, Renolf. How's it going? Alright, 2100 Bexp. Yes. It's like. 10 levels at this point? Yeah, roughly that amount. So I'll use that to get people to probably, if, like, if I get them to 19, they can cap out in the final pretty easily, I think. So oh, yeah. that'll be the, the aim. But if we can get someone to 20, that works too. So maybe we can get more caps in than I uh, than I need to. Or than I alluded to. <clears throat> anyway, um, that was the last episode of playing it normally because as tradition wills it, I want to stream the final chapter once again. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Live streams are always a hell of a blast. So I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Yeah, we'll see you there.